Little bonus action here tonight in the featherweight division. Four rounds between Manuel Avila and Alex Hernandez, both making their professional debut. All right, we have two 18-year-olds here. Avila is three inches taller and has three inches in reach. All right, Joe Hernandez is going to take it away. Give us the official introductions. And here we go, fine fans. Our next attraction, four rounds in the featherweight division with your three judges once again scoring at ringside, Johnny Davis, Carla Cariz, and Vince Delgado. Referee in charge of the action for this contest is Jose Colia. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black and white, he weighed officially 122 pounds. Tonight, he makes his professional debut fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Alexis Hernandez. And next, his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with the flag of Mexico and the USA. Weighing it officially 125 and one quarter pounds. He too tonight makes his professional debut out of Fairfield, California. Here is Manuel Tino Avila. Manuel Avila in the multicolor trunks with the obvious advantage in height and reach. That's not his only advantage. He also has the much more extensive amateur background. He had a 46 and 4 amateur record, whereas Hernandez just had five amateur bouts. So, advantage of both the physically and experience-wise. Watch the hand speed, watch the technique of Avila. He is a boxer puncher with very good reflexes. He was uh, an impressive junior amateur. An amateur at the Look age. how relaxed he looks. Oh, this yeah. is his first fight as a professional. Looks very confident. And that's what very people said steady. about him. That's yeah. what people said about him when he was 15, 16, and 17 years old. Um, he was ranked as high as number three in the nation at 119 pounds. And he was a guy who was um, able to score knockouts and knockdowns in the amateurs with the headgear and the bigger gloves. Um, his left hook is something that a lot of people talk about. Nice counter with the right. Alex uh, Hernandez uh, more jittery, wasting a lot of energy with uh, unnecessary movement, jumping up and down, moving the arms. Just his lack of experience. It, it, you know, he's only had um, five amateur bouts. That's been his only competition. He's somebody who just started boxing four years ago because he likes it. Walked into a boxing Let's see gym. how much he's going <laughs> to like it after tonight. Exactly. It's a lot different watching it on TV than actually being under these hot lights and in the ring, particularly with the talented uh, young amateur standout, Emmanuel Avila. Avila using uh, his left. Jabbing quite a bit, countering with the right. Nice combinations. He is fast. And I like the head movement. Very, look at that body uppercut. Movement. Beautiful style. Doesn't waste punches. Yeah, he's already hurt. Uh, uh, Knockout here. Yeah, now, now he's just going straight to the power punches using that right. Ducking very adequately. And now he's got Hernandez in serious trouble. And you see how poised he is. At the first bout of the night, we saw Maldonado, Fidel Maldonado Jr., get a little crazy when he hurt his opponent and get clipped himself in return. And now we're seeing this 18-year-old kid, Manuel Avila, he hurt his opponent, but he stayed within himself. Did not lose any form of technique as he put the punishment on his lesser experienced opponent. Hernandez already uh, bleeding a little bit from the nose. Let, uh, Kind of trickling uh, from the right side. Yeah, that face is red and very oh, quickly. Yeah. High uh, connect percentage there by Avila in round one. <laughs> I'm thinking like 80%. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen him miss a punch, to be quite honest. I think he missed one. Yeah. He needs to work on that. End of round one. Very nice right cross from Avila, followed by a beautifully timed left hook. This 
saw uh, an exceptionally high connect rate with young Avila in that first round. You are witnessing the professional debut of a, a tremendous fighter, Manuel Avila, in the uh, multicolored trunks. His uh, nickname is Tino. But everybody calls him in Fairfield. <laughs> Tino in Spanish means aim. Oh, does it? Yep. That that's, a, that's a good nickname because his aim is very good. He is a sharp shooter. And I know his uh, his opponent isn't much, but um, I like what I see from him just in terms of his tools, technique, ring generalship, and poise. I think there's a high degree of athleticism from him. You see he avoids punches very well. He gets under punches. There's some upper body movement there. Yeah, and, and just adjusting to the opposition, just uh, doing the right things. Um, as you mentioned, uh, the, the first part, fight we saw, things were out of control, but but, but in this case, he's, he's actually doing his fight. He's carrying out whatever he wants to do. He's keeping his head in there. We've seen before in Fight Night Club, and these young guys, guys who just turned 18, as Avila did, uh, I believe uh, the, the first bout of our last show, we saw a guy named Trevor McCombie, um, who had more amateur bouts than Avila did. And um, once uh, he got in the ring for his pro debut, he got a little wild. He was yeah. showboating, he was hot dogging, he was loading up with punches, and he didn't look as polished as perhaps he, he actually was. And uh, we're not seeing that with, with Tino. Tino was keeping his head in there and, and looking very mature for his age. And showing other uh, young fighters that, that you don't have to be flamboyant, you don't have to be flashy. You can be just a great fighter. Just do your thing, and, and good things will come. Yeah, blood trickling from Hernandez's nose now as uh, Avila picks his shots. And that's bothering him. He, he keeps uh, rubbing that nose, trying to... He's trying. He's game. He just cannot land a punch, which has to be discouraging given the amount of punches that he's taking. And he just he just cannot handle the lateral no, movement. And, and he's just chasing Tino aimlessly until Avila switches gears or he throws a punch and, and then he has uh, he has the, uh, the opponent doing the same thing all over again, Hernandez. Yeah, Hernandez is hopelessly outclassed right here. Um, what we're seeing is uh, this is uh, basically like an exhibition, a showcase for Avila, and he's showing us a lot. Target practice so far from Tino Avila. That was a beautiful lead right hand that he landed in the second round. The uh, ring doctor's very attentive to both corners, even though uh, Tino hasn't really received any punishment, but uh, both uh, doctors, Leandro Gattuz and Paul Wallace, Paying close attention to uh, both corners. I don't Avila know why. They, I don't know why they would go to professional Avila. debut. So you have to figure maybe uh -huh. how they're uh, doing after a couple of rounds. Maybe they asked Avila to take it easy. <laughs> like, hey, you're beating this kid up. Let him get some shots in. And you know what? Hernandez is getting some shots in as um, Avila elects to trade on the inside. Versatile young man, and uh, I was told by his manager Cameron Duncan, who also manages uh, the former flyweight champion Nuno Guinea, who is considered a, an elite boxer, a pound for pound level fighter. Um, I was told by Duncan that uh, Avila sparred with Nuno Guinea recently, and that Donaire was very much impressed. So Avila is impressive against a much, a much higher level of opposition than we're seeing him in tonight. Now his. Uh Face is starting to swell up, and I'm talking about. Uh, I'm Hernandez. not talking about Avila. Yeah, I'm Norsen. seeing a mouse under that left eye. It's getting purple. It's getting swollen. And growing by the second. Hernandez is a tough kid. I mean, he is, he is really game. He, he is defiant in there. Uh, he does not have the physical tools or the skills or experience to really threaten Avila, but um, he remains game and uh, he's coming forward. Which uh, I, I just I. I I admire his courage. I certainly would not have that kind of <laughs> facing uh, uh, that's somebody you're down here. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. and I like it here. It's nice and simple. I just I could not do what I see some of these journeymen do, where they know they are hopeless. 
be outclassed. They know they're not going to win. They know they're going to take um, a lot of punishment the more rounds it goes. And I'm always impressed by these guys who do not lay down. They just have that fight. I mean, they're fighters. They are fighters at heart. They are fighters. They're warriors in spirit. That is exactly what Hernandez is. He just yeah. keeps coming for more. He gets yeah. nailed. He's just not a professional boxer. <laughs> he probably is in the wrong profession. And we, we've talked about this. Why don't some of these guys retire? They just love it. They, they love, love it. The, the, the game of boxing. They like the lights, even though they know they're not going to have a great record, maybe not even a winning record, but they just like being in the ring. They love the challenge. They love to challenge themselves. And uh, if they can go in there and just have one moment against an undefeated prospect, that means something to them. This is the end of round three. We'll be back with the uh, final episode. Good luck. Uh, there we see him, man. You see you the, the, the punishment that he's absorbed. Mouse is under both eyes, swelling. His face went from red to purple. In just three rounds of and action. And it's not over. Yeah, and it, it's, when I say action, I mean one-sided action. <laughs> Avila looking so oh, sharp. That counter left hook knocked him off balance. Avila might go for the knockout in this round. Yeah, that, now he's really going all out. Keeping punishment. Pulling all the stops. Going to the head, to the body. Hernandez, to his credit, swings back. I am as impressed with Hernandez's guts and courage as I am with the skill and talent of Manuel Avila. That was a terrific body punch, and he continues to assault his uh, opponent, punching him to the head, the face. And, and as you point out, Doug, he, he's still in there, swinging, retaliating, punching back. He's earned his money tonight. He, he wants to finish this standing. No elbow, no elbow. He's actually getting some punches inside, and his punches don't have much. He swats with his punches, doesn't have a lot of power to begin with. And Avila is uh, paying him back in kind with um, sharper punches, harder punches, punches with more leverage on them. And now Hernandez is a, a stationary target. Yeah, I wonder if some of those body shots kind of took away his wills to get out of there, or if he doesn't know how to spin out. Or how to hold. I don't think he knows how to hold on to Avila and maybe try to walk his opponent back until the referee comes to split them up. He doesn't know how to get a reprieve. All he knows how to do is to take that punishment and to try to dish them out in return. And you figure with almost a minute left, will they stop the fight? That would be the merciful thing. I think he's had enough. He's, he's not competitive. I know it would mean a lot to Hernandez just to go the distance, just to say he went four rounds with Avila in his, his pro debut. And if Avila goes on to become a hot prospect or a contender or even a world champion one day, he could say, hey, I, I was that guy's first pro fight, and I didn't make it easy on him. And I went the distance. Gosh, but look at his face. He is really paying for it. His pride is uh, costing him a lot. He's and he's exhausted as well. You know, I think Avila is tired. <laughs> He's breathing kind of heavy. He's not letting his hands go the way he was in the first minute. Well, he, he used up all the gas in the tank. As we end the end of this fight, we'll be back with the decision. And now, fine fans, we go to the scorecards after four rounds. All three judges have it the same 40 to 36 for your winner by unanimous decision, Manuel Tito.
on his way, Doug. Yeah, no, no surprise with the decision, but he is definitely one to watch in the featherweight division, which is already uh, a, a packed division as far as prospects. I think he is a uh, welcome addition. Your final thoughts of the night and the end of the season. Uh, the, this, this, has been a, this has been a great season. Um, I look forward to doing this again next year. I think uh, Carlos Molina has had a very good year, and he capped it with a, a, a very solid performance. I look forward to him developing as a lightweight prospect.